Full time highlights now. Five o'clock kickoff in sunshine. Nathan Thomas there working and releasing that one foot. Justin Dunn who fired towards the target. Kemar Foster not bothered by that one. Alton Lewis from the corner kick to Harisha Morgan to Anthony Nelson off the crossbar. And it was a scrambled clearance. The, sec the delivery again came in. Howard Morris there committing the infraction against Kemar Foster and goal for Waterhouse. Lots of questions being asked. Nikita Nicholson with the correct call. Nicole Christian with that attempt towards goal, punched away. And the game would have changed here. Nathan Thomas with a slip. And as he slipped, he brought down Javain Bryan. Akita Nicholson pointed to the spot. Javain Bryan, cool as you like, converting. 15 goals for the season. Only one behind Justin Dunn, the talisman for Waterhouse, showing why. He has been perhaps a big revelation this season. Last year he played tier two football. Howard Morris in the first half tried to test the keeper. Second half action now. Lewis with that kick trying to get something there. Denado Thomas with a glancing header in the wrong direction. But this is where it changed for Tivoli. Radika Wellington, what a delivery. Bamboozling all the players for Waterhouse. Kemar Foster got a hand to it, but it only pushed it on the upright, then back in the path of Lennox Russell, the substitute, who converted. Delight for Tivoli. Third goal of the season for Lennox Russell. This one, getting the apex there. And again, another great moment for Tivoli. Radika Wellington from point blank range should have really done better. And Akita Nicholson had enough of the first leg of the quarterfinal in the Rain Effort Jamaica Premier League. Here's the statistics. Four shots on target from nine attempts for Waterhouse, four on target from 14 for Tivoli. 19 fouls, 12 of them to Tivoli Gardens. Waterhouse, they had two yellow cards, one offside, seven corners, and Tivoli Gardens had nine corners. Three saves made by each custodian, and Tivoli Gardens edging out the possession, 52%. And it's one all at the end. Waterhouse and Tivoli Gardens, first leg of the quarterfinals. We are in effort, Jamaica Premier League. Yeah, I'm here with today's man of the match. Hard fought game for Alton Lewis. I'm sure you expected a really tough game. How tough was it out there? It was a very, very, very tough, tough game. You see, we come from behind and get a one all, one all, one all draw. But that, that's the result we come for. But we we'll go back to the training session tomorrow and come again next Monday. What exactly do you think that Waterhouse did to make it so tough for you? As I say, we beat them two times for the season. So, yeah, we know they might come out hard, but I will stick focus and fight to fight. You still sound very confident for next week, I'm sure. You're expecting to go through to the semi-finals. Yeah, we're very, very, very confident. Come out um, Monday and put in a fight. Can get, um, pick out a win and go to the semi-final. All right, best of luck in that game and great performance today. Thank you very much. Yeah, Alton Lewis there, no stranger to Man of the Match Awards, of course. Played his part in Tivoli, coming from behind to coming from behind to get that one-all draw for his team, and it was for this team, this man who coached Jerome Wade. Coach, it was a tough game. I know you expected one. Mm. What did Waters do to make it so tough for you? Well, put it this way, we didn't play the, the first half. Waters had the better play, and you notice these players have to understand attitude don't win games. You have to come out there and play. Uh, it was a different second half, you know, once we made some substitution and then the Tivoli team came to life. Yeah, and um, those substitutions, your, your subs always tend to make a difference in games. It must be really nice to have such a reliable bench. Yes, but, but um, you know, the one player created two chances in which he should have even put away one. But we still have 90 more minutes to play. Yeah, and uh, what are you expecting from the game next week? judging after this performance today? Well, what I've seen with the Waterhouse team is, is my duty now to, you know, go and analyze and 
target what needs to be done and see how best we can win this game. Well, thank you very much for your time, coach, and best of luck next week. All right, cool. Yeah, coach Jerome Waite there from Tivoli Gardens and moving on now to coach Marcel Gale of Waterhouse. Coach, a really tough game. You took the lead. I'm sure you were expecting at that point to get the advantage in this game. Um, basically, we are, we are grateful. I mean, we're, we're still in it. I mean, the, the time's not over. I think kudos to my team. I thought we played well. We, we had some objective today. I thought we met it. But the most important one today, we didn't give a clean sheet. Um, you know, but it's, it's, it's a mistake um, in, in that late moment where we talk about I mean, you know, with our seniors players in the park, we should do better in that moment. But it's, 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 we're still learning and, you know, we, can, we still can get better and have an excuse to go out there and play again. Yeah, and it was a really impressive performance from your team, especially in the first half. Do you think that that performance really set a platform for your team to go forward, not only in this tie, but in the next tie as well? Uh, basically, that, that's what we're working on and training all week. Uh, so it's just we go out there and execute. It's just unfortunately, um, you know, we should kill off the game from first half. You know, we created enough chance to... To, to, to put away at least two, but um, you know, not knocking them. I mean, you know, I mean, our city Valley has better also. Today we, we, we come closer, you know, who knows the next game. And you mentioned training, of course, uh, there was a lot of set, well, yeah. set piece routines that your team executed really well. Is that something that you focus on, especially in training? Yeah, I mean, um, Tivale is a quality team. I mean, they finished third, a testimony of most cars, they're playing good football. So we know that it's going to be an even game. It's going to be an even game. I mean, the leading goal scorer, both leading goal scorer and two teams. So we know it's going to be a close. It's come down to um, fine margin. And we know that's come down to fine margin. You know, those set players can make a difference. So, you know, it's a, it's, it's a cap in our arsenal that's so why we have to take it and move and going forward. But we are grateful today. Uh, thanks, Coach. All the best next week. Thank you.